What's happening, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's Nefertiti, and I'm back with another video. How you guys doing? Welcome. Come on in. Okay, guys, so today I want to talk about trusting God. And this message is for all of us. Um, If this message is not for you at the moment, it may be for you in the next couple months. You never know. But whoever it's for is for, and I know it's for me as well. Trust in God. How many of us trust God? I know we say this all the time. I'm, I'm going to just trust God. I'm going to just trust God. But how many of us say that we're going to trust God and then pick up the problem? How many of us give the problem to God and then take it back out of his hands and start worrying and stressing and figuring out, trying to figure out how we're going to do it, how we're going to work it out? How many of us do that? There's so many times when, when we'll say, we trust God and then we don't allow God to be God. Because if God is not moving fast enough, if God is not moving the way we think he should move, if God doesn't do it the way He we think he, sh he, he should do it, then he's not doing his job. But God knows what he's doing. It's easy to trust God when everything's going good. It's easy. That's, that's, you don't have no challenges when, you're, when your bills are paid and you don't owe no rent and you got food in your house, you got clothes on your back, you got shoes on your feet, your kids are doing good in school and you know, blessings after blessings. So you, I just trust God and I'm just been trusting God. But what happens when you don't have none of that? What happens when you can't pay your bills, when you don't have no food to eat? When your clothes are all ripped up, when you just lost your job, when your kids are acting up, when your, when your car breaks down, when you go bankrupt, when your house is burnt down, when the craziest thing, when you lost somebody, when your family members die, when your loved ones die, when you even maybe animals, if you have animals that's dear to your heart, when they die, when something dear to you demolishes, when something dear to you is not working out. Will you still trust them? Will you? It's really easier to say it than actually believe in it. Now, there are some people out there who will trust God through the thick and the thin. And that's where we need to get to. That's the goal. is to trust God even when it don't look like he's doing anything. I have a video when I talk about how God healed my skin disease. Y'all... Do you know how hard it was to trust God through that process? It wasn't easy for me. Even though I know about and I know God and I have a relationship with God and I know that God is a healer, honey. And when he does it, he doesn't do it halfway. He does it a whole way. And I still had a problem with trusting God because I didn't see it. I believed, I, you know, they say if you believe in your heart, God will do it for you. And I was believing in my heart, but I wasn't seeing no, nothing different. I was still seeing that big mark on my face. So I was having a hard time trusting God. So what do we do when we want to trust God in our hearts, but we just don't? We have to learn to let go and think about all of the times that God has came through in your life every other time. Even if you have to write it down. Even if you have to write down all of the prayers that you have prayed and all of the times that he has answered them to remind you who God is. Because God is not all, he's not on our time. He's on his time. God comes right when he's supposed to. Then there may be a time where you, you don't have no money and somebody that owed you five months ago, cash apps you some money and all of a sudden now you can pay for food and now you can pay a bill or now you can feed your kids, whatever the case may be. Everything, everything comes on God's timing and his timing is the right timing, even though it's not for us. So what my sister told me this a while ago, she said, while you're waiting for God to open up the door, praise him in the hallway. Oh, I was like, girl, she said, while you're waiting for God to open up the door, praise him in the hallway. My God, y'all, I'm learning this myself. I'm learning. I used to hear people say all the time, you got to praise God. You got to worship God. You want this to be broken off. You want a breakthrough. You want a healing. You want God to move in your life. You need to praise God. You know, and the enemy gets upset when you praise. You know, it it, it, it messes them up. You know, it makes, it makes them feel weird. And I knew this. I would worship God in church and stuff like that. But I just didn't worship him when things were going rough, when things were going tough. But when things began to happen to me and not for me, when stuff started coming against me, 
I praise them. I praise them. I, I, I'm learning to praise him. I'll say I, I praise him. I'm learning to praise him. Just today, I got stuck in the snow. However, God already told me not to go all the way. I was doing Instacart. He told me not to go all the way up the driveway, and I did anyway. Disobedience causes delay. He still got me out of it, but I didn't once get frustrated. I didn't once get irritated. I didn't once felt overwhelmed. I didn't start crying. I just trusted God, and I said, thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Sometimes our faith, not sometimes, it's our faith that moves that moves God. It's our faith. He's like, wow. Even though it, I didn't give it to them yet, even though they can't see it, they trust me, they're worshiping me, now I'm really going to bless them. Pray. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you're waiting on. But praise him in advance. Don't, don't praise him when it comes. Don't praise him when the package comes. Do not praise him when that Amazon package finally comes to the door. Do not praise him when your kids finally start acting right. Do not praise him when you finally get a good job and get enough money to pay for what you need to pay for. Do not praise him when things are going good. You got to praise him through the storms. You got to, listen, even when you don't understand, even when you don't understand, my friend just passed away, y'all. Sorry, I'm about to get emotional. Whew. I can't act like I know she probably has people closer to her that, that's more emotional. But not once did I get mad at God. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I said, Lord, why? 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 But y'all, instead of me getting mad at God, I just praised him. Because his knowledge is not my knowledge. His ways are not my ways. I don't understand everything that God's doing. I don't understand. And I know there's an enemy out there that's attacking too. But y'all, I chose to praise God. And I realized praising God through the tough times makes me a lot stronger. Because if I always get discouraged, if I always get upset whenever um, it comes to trusting God, I realize I stay in the same spot. If I never break that barrier of, being um of anxiety if I never break that that barrier of fear i'm not going to get to the faith that i need to get to i'm not going to reach that goal of faith because here's the thing we all have faith but our faith is supposed to strengthen and our faith our faith is supposed to grow and in order for our faith to grow y'all we got to go through a little bit more ups and downs a little bit more mountains we got to go through tough times and difficult seasons and times when we feel like God's not there and we have to still trust him and st still stand in his word. So are you going to trust him only when things are going right? Or are you going to trust him when things go wrong? Because how many times has God came through when you thought he wasn't going to come through? How many times? And yeah, it may have not came on the, when you asked him to do it at that time or the way you asked him to do it. But how many times has, has he ever left you he said to his people he said for his people god's people he said i will never leave you nor forsake you he said i will never leave you nor forsake you god is working when we don't see it that's where faith comes in we have to trust him we have to trust god when you when you really know who god is and that's why it's important to get a relationship with christ Get your own relationship, not what he say, she say, not what your mom or your grandmother said. Read the Bible for yourself, pray for yourself, get your own relationship with Christ. When you learn, when you begin to learn who God is, his characteristics, the way that he moves, his anger, his love, then it won't be so hard to trust him even when it's tough. You know, it won't be so hard to trust him when it looks like nothing's going right. Y'all, we all struggle, y'all. I even have bills that I have not paid that need paid. Y'all, I'm not even worried about it. I'm just chilling. I be thinking about it, like, because I, I do work. So I be thinking about it, like, you know, I got to get this and that paid. And even though it's overdue, I'm just like, it's in his hands. I can't, I can't, you know, get overwhelmed and get frustrated. But I'm learning with you guys. I'm learning too. This is something that I'm going through right now at the at this moment is I'm learning to praise God even when it looks like things are not going right. 
to trust him, to trust God to be God, to not step in the way, to not try to help him out because he don't need our help. The only time he needs our help is when he needs us to do our part, not sit around and, and wait all day for God to do his part, but to do our part, get up and move, get up and uh, work in purpose, you know, help others, whatever God is putting on your heart to do. But in this season, some of you guys are about to go through the wilderness. Okay. Some of y'all are already in the wilderness, but some of y'all are about to reach really tough times. And I don't know, this may be for me too. Okay. This may be for me too. But in these tough times, God is going to keep us. He's going to keep us strong, but we have to stay next to him and we have to trust him even when it don't look like it. All right, guys, make sure that you guys like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Be sure to join the team and stay tuned for my next video. God bless you guys. See you later.